how you describe either of these two. Simple, simplest of catches. Would you believe it? It just spooned up a little bit off a length. We were only just talking about the pitch and how it was going to play. And this just seems to have reacted in a way that Rolofsson could not have predicted. Bouncing probably half a foot higher than he would have expected. It took the shoulder of the bat. And Jack Leaning took the simplest of catches at... Oh, that's a shot. What a shot. That is a sublime strike. He's playing a forward defensive. This time, gap on the leg side, just picking the length. It's a fraction shorter. Oh, no shame. No shame in that shot. Just uh, heaved leg side. So intent uh, quite clear. Gets lucky. Gets lucky. In the air. And he commits to the shot. And because he commits to the shot. Sweetly timed again. That is magnificent timing. Just another flick of the wrists. Gets lucky on the bounce. Got him. Wells has gone to the well once too many times, and Richardson can afford to smile once again. A bit of movement around the crease and sometimes be off putting for a bowler, but still look to target the stumps, go straight. Pulled away. There is a man back there, and there he is. Moyeye pouches the catch. Need to get stuck into them here. Yeah. Oh, what a great shot. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, really? Jordan Cox is, uh, well, we've seen what a fabulous fielder he is. Paul Baldwin, TV umpire. Oh, oh dear. Yes, Oh dear, oh dear. They do need a change. Just gets over the head of mid. Oh, is it? Appeal, appeal from Billings. No, would you believe it? Well, you could see what Leaning was trying to do. His first two deliveries just firing in to the leg side. The second one, slightly too much. Get a little better with the bat, Sid, from your point of view. Get up, get up. Not um, to be. Yes, Not um, to be. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, let's leave it there, gentlemen. Thank you thank so you, much. Thank you. Back to the guys yes, upstairs. Your innings, which is falling apart in front of our very eyes. That's the end of Graham Van Buren. Jack Leaney picks. 160. Don't think he's got all of that, has he? No, yes, just enough. Well, excellent use of the crease on this occasion. Yeah gone up it's gone up a long way that has gone up a long long way and a simple catch he don't drop many Jordan Cox that was about as simple as it gets for a very good fielder Kane Richardson probably say I'm glad you were under it and not me of course we are uh, embarking upon the the lightest time of the year here in the UK sweet strike that is a sweet strike just a flip leg side on this occasion, simple, absolutely simple. You get one of your best fielders, if you're not your best fielder at Long Island, Jordan Cox takes another relatively simple catch. Yeah, Hogan just uh, going with what he knows, bowling length, hard length, trying to get the ball top of the stump height. And Matt Taylor having banged one back over his head, the ball before. Now that's going to take some catching. Sam Billing says, mine. Yeah, simple again. Early call from the captain. And uh, boy, they've got some work to do now to try and bat out the overs. Grant Stewart comes on. Price has a, a big swipe across the line. Again, the ball perhaps just bouncing a little bit unevenly. So there's quite a bit on the contest. Now, middle of the bat and the boundary. 15 or 20 and his side up to... Oh, big shot, big, big, big shot. Shot of the night so far. I don't think he's ever hit the ball further in his life. Oh, I think it's a catch as well. We've got to see if this is one or two. Surely it's not one. Two. 
two, two. <laughs> anyway, he'll do. Goes again, this time uh, up a lot, uh, and will take a little bit of catching and does. Well, the end with a bit of a flurry, 138. David Payne has got 16 from eight. Oh, swing, early swing. He's going to find the boundary. Oh, going to have to hurry here. Oh, that's going to be out, isn't it? David Payne in his follow through. It's a really bad run to unpick about this piece of running. First of all, with David Payne being left arm over, the ball is just dropping straight into his follow through. And Bell Drummond sort of sauntered off like it was going to be a straightforward single. But Well, there was hesitation. I just don't even think that Mie is going to be in the frame here. No, excellent from the tall, fast bowler. Well, more positive from Daniel Bell Drummond, and that might be the way to go. A welcome boundary for the Kent Spitfires. Oh, shouts a catch. No one there, though. Just a short third in play. Oh, anything full. That was the message. That's probably not where to bowl. That was such a good strike from Daniel Bell Drummond. Still powerful. Got him. Well done. Well done indeed, Tom Price. Very good, sharp catch. Never easy. Very good. Actually, even better than I thought. That went uh, was travelling. That was an excellent catch. Not easy when you're in your follow through like that to get gather yourself and get the ball in the middle of those hands. Shout to catch it, but that has been beautifully controlled. Oh, Drummond. Oh, that's good. That's really good. He's done it to quicker bowlers than Charlesworth. Loves that pull shot. Oh, it doesn't matter. It does not matter which way the ball's turning if it's a full top. Oh, that's huge. Much prefers the ball turning towards that leg side, and Sam Billings has taken no second invitation to step out and bosh it over mid-wicket for six. On a number of occasions. All right, about. Have to hurry, have to hurry, have to hurry. Now then, I said they just needed a moment of brilliance in the field. Is that the moment that brings them back into the contest? And forget the fielders, and the fielding here is outstanding. His awareness is good, he's in tight, he's in close, and he picks it up and does the rest. The job is done here, and they're back in the contest. Billings looked good and fluent. But he was pretty confident in how he set off. Could be struggling. Just hit the base of the stumps. Yeah. Go on, have a little go. See if you can go. It goes. Uh, wow, what a shot! What a shot! Doesn't matter really where the field is. Big strike. Massive hit from uh, Daniel Bell Drummond. Player in, and uh, that is a magnificent strike down the ground. Lovely strike, super strike. And excellent placement as well. Lovely straight back on this occasion. What a shot that is. Oh, bang. That has been hit ferociously. Oh, nailed again. Clipped away. That'll be a 33rd blast 50 for Daniel Bell Drummond. There was a chance. There was a chance to finish it in style. And Cox responds. Bell Drummond sees it all the way through to the end. Spitfires win by seven wickets on the road.